Hi, how about a technique on whitening the teeth using Photoshop? As usual, as with anything Photoshop related, there are loads of different techniques you can apply, so this is just one of them, one techniques you could use. Here's what I'm going to do. Now, first of all, I'm going to duplicate the background layer so we don't work on the original. So I'll just duplicate that first. Now, on this layer, I'm going to create a selection around the teeth. In this case, I'm going to start with the quick selection tool. I'll make my brush a bit bigger. I'm just using the bracket keys on the keyboard. Make sure that the auto enhance is checked in the options bar. This will make a big difference on the edges. And I'll just start here. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, it might not be the best idea with the quick selection tool. Well, let me just quickly start here. I'm going to hold the Alt key down. This changes the cursor to the minus icon so I can subtract from the selection. Just like that. Remember, don't get too close to the edges with quick selection tool. It creates best results. Here we go. <coughs> if you are using quick selection tool as well, remember that once you start creating selection, it goes automatically to add to selection option. Okay, so you don't need to do anything. You don't need to hold down anything on a keyboard. Oh, I'm just going to remove that. So again, I'm holding down the Alt key. Just some bits and pieces here and here. Uh, I missed this bit here. Obviously, you can mix and match. So I'm going to switch to Lasso tool. Add to selection is checked and I'm going to add to selection just to show you how you can mix and match different selection tools it's up to you what selection tool you decide to use now I'm going to click on the icon the third icon subtract from the selection and I'm going to subtract from selection these parts here mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. this looks okay that's Fine, maybe just a bit here, and let me add this bit here, and this one. You get the idea. Now I'm going to head on to the Adjustments panel, and I'll click on the Hue and Saturation Adjustment. There, okay. Because you had a selection running, you notice it on the layer mask, okay. And now here. If we click on the master drop down menu, we'll target yellows. And I will lower the saturation of the yellows. Notice how the color of the teeth changes. Okay. We don't want to go all the way down because we'll, they will get black and white. So I'll keep it quite low, about minus 40, 50, maybe 60. I will also increase the lightness to make them brighter. I'll accept that. Okay. Oh, we should also clip it so you can hold down the Alt key on a keyboard and click between the layers to clip it. Now we can see before and after by simply hiding and showing the layer. That's the background layer, so that's before, that's after. If the effect is a bit too strong, what you can do is just select the layer and lower the opacity of the layer just to fade the effect out a bit. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but there's uh, quite a bit of a difference. Okay. And that's one of the techniques you can use for whitening the teeth on images in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulajic from saitraining.co.uk.